Hello guys, this is Momo. First of all, I would like to say Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and wish you all the best in coming New Year. Uh, probably this is my last video uh, in uh, 2021, and in this video, I would like to teach you how to make your own layout um, for sending to a customer or for having in your archive and using it. Um, uh, for once who can remember, uh, we had this function in Matrix uh, 9 before. It was amazing tools, uh, layout uh, tools uh, that, it help, that this help us to make our layout and then we can modify it or we can make uh, background, we can make frames, uh, we can make uh, graphics, add logos and something like that. Okay, but we still we don't have in Matrix Gold. Uh, actually, we in tools we have uh, uh, a tech report that it, that it, it is uh, uh, it, it is uh, nice tools that we I I always use it for sending details to my customer, but uh, uh, but if I have my own layout, it's much more easier for me, uh, and my customers know this is my this is from me. So it was easy for them also because uh, uh, they can use the details, they can see everything, and it was good for them. Uh, so, uh, so in this video, I teach you how to make something like that. First of all, the name of uh, the name of this is uh, layout. Okay, and each report name is detail. Okay, so we call them detail. So how to make it? We need to go to perspective. So in perspective, actually, we don't need anything. Okay, just we need our file. Okay, our design. That's it. But as you can see, I have, uh, I'm in shaded mode, but uh, my design looks like a real metal. So how how did I how how did I? Uh, do it. Actually, I use EMAP option, environment, environment, environmental map. Okay, option. So it's really easy. You just need to click on uh, EMAP. Type EMAP actually. So you can select all your object that you want to EMAP applied on that. So select uh, select uh, layer. And then you need to press enter. So as you can see, you have many options here. So I choose gold white. And in this situation, I can see like that. So it's really cool even for my customer because um, it's better to send in a green uh, metal, green uh, object. Okay, it's much more better. You don't need to close it. Please put it here. And then you need to click on this plus. Uh, uh this plus uh tab okay if you don't have these uh if you don't have your viewport tabs you can go to you can you need to right click on viewport tabs and then you can go to view viewport layout and then you can uh you can use it okay for viewports or three viewports okay or you can use it or high viewport tabs if you if you want it okay you can use these uh, to have them okay great so great so if you don't have it something like that you just right click on here and then viewport layout and then show viewport tabs so and, and they will appear okay so uh, as default you don't have these on report you have perspective top front and right okay so you just click on this plus and then go to a new layout and here you can type for example report number two okay uh select your printer if you need to print and the settings apply on new the new uh, uh, applied on layout you can choose your printer but by default i use micro microsoft print to pdf you need to size your layout uh, actually viewport size and then instead of portrait i use landscape and then here they shows you the size and initial detail count i prefer to use four okay and then you press okay so as you can see some things appear after clicking okay on my screen and, and then i have a new one and the name is report two as you can see okay perspective top front right design report that i made it 
and report that is a new one great so now you can adjust them is just like an object for example you can write you can uh, select all of them and you have the gumball and then shift and then click uh, and then uh, uh, press a uh, click on these uh, square red or any square on the screen that's connected to the gumball and then shift and then cl click and then uh, hold it and move to scale it okay in any sizes that you want okay if you need to send your customer many details you can have sm uh, four of you here okay and then if you want to adjust it you need to double click zoom out and then here and then double click again double click zoom out here double click and then you can adjust okay something like that okay double click and then zoom out and then double click again if you want to change these colors from red to black you just select again and then you can go and select the black okay if your lines is not if your lines are not thick as mine because um, you need to go to options okay or you can right click go to display option okay and here as you can see by default the layout is in wireframe go to this go to uh, uh, objects but I'm sure you cannot see it because the colors change to gray and the background is white so you cannot see so wireframe object curves and change the curve width to three okay and then press okay so I have it in thick as mine you will have the thick as mine okay and now I need another a tab okay I need another detail so I just I can just right click and add details and then I can make something like that okay uh, great so I select and then here double click and right click go to perspective uh, set view go to perspective and then I want to shoot the back of my design to my customer too okay as well okay and then double click so my customer can see um, uh, back of my design okay very good and also you can make it bigger if you want you can make it smaller if you want is up to you okay so I made something like this great but maybe you said that maybe you need dimension but as you can see these details they don't have the same uh, scale some of them is big some of them is small so maybe it makes problem for my customer so he cannot see well here okay so what you need to do you have to click on these detail control T or properties panel and as you can see we have a scale value okay so you are saying that one millimeter on page is, for example, um, um, a mini, uh, how many millimeters you want in model in your model. If I change it to one, okay, so it goes very small and I cannot I cannot see very well. Okay, so I have to I have to go to zero point three something like that. Okay, zero point three, and you can do the same here. You can zero point three okay so as it here is not what I want so I have to go to 0 0.5 so here also I need to change to 0 0.5 okay it's much better but I prefer uh, to have it bigger so I'm, I'm sure it's not the same um, uh, uh, the same as the bottom one but because it's I think it's small I maybe my customer prefer to have the bigger one but if it's not the same it's fine for him okay so I want to say here 0 0.3 but here I go to 0 0.5 the same uh, that makes sense for my customer to see and now I need to add details uh, I need to add dimensions to my design okay so what I need let's let's do something let's mix all and scale it a little bit 
make them down is much more better okay so let's add details so I want to if you if you add details here okay it's not uh, is not uh, correct is not the same because we already scale it okay is not correct so uh, what we need to do first let's fix this problem I just need to go and change it to the shaded okay ah so I want to tell you something as you can see when I double click and I go to viewport again I can change and I can do a lot of uh, uh, things that maybe uh, uh, destroy everything that I made so what I need I need to lock it okay I need to click on locked okay perfect and here also I need to click and I need to locked okay so here I need to locked and in perspective to I need to lock it okay it's much more better okay so Perfect. So now it is locked, but if I don't want to lock it, double click, just click here, no lock, and then double click, and then I can change it. Okay. Okay. So let me fix this. So I change it to shaded so I can see the diamonds better. Right click, I go to shaded, and here also the same. I go to shaded mode so I can see my diamonds much more better here uh, I need to do some things let me show you I go to shaded okay and uh, for adding the dimensions I highly recommend you uh, not doing here because we already scale it okay so if it is not correct it's not real it's not correct so what we need to do is that we have to double click and then we go to deem and then we have to do it here and then double click and come back again to um, uh, to our layout because we already we already change it uh, we already uh, scale it scale it our model it, it, my model and my viewport they don't have uh, the same scale they have they, they are not one one okay we already scale it so this is very very important maybe for you these dimensions is very small okay so how, how you can make it big you need to go to options again you need to go to annotation styles and default one and then edit and then here font change it to four probably for you is one and in arrow size change it to four okay and then press okay so it would uh, it, it must be big like that okay and also you can change the font i use open sans serif uh, fonts instead of arial uh so arial so i change it already okay so i need to do again so i do dim what's the size here okay 1.9 dim what's the size here okay so if I want to bring uh, bring fonts at uh, this uh, dimension I just need to click control and then drag up so it comes uh, because uh, we uh, by by uh, pressing control key we activate uh, elevator mode or lift mode elevator mode so it goes vertically uh, to my uh, uh, viewport okay so it's fine double click and then double click here we do dim and then we can say here is like this I say like that and then that's fine okay so as you can see we can see these dimensions in our in perspective ones okay so to get rid of them you just need to change our display option so we double click we go to uh, display options actually we need to change first to plastic or something like that change it I prefer to go to plastic okay and then you need to uh, uncheck the annotation showing okay so you have to uncheck annotation showing okay we do the same here we go to plastic and then I cannot see any kind of uh, annotations or dimensions or anything that 
I don't want to have them. Okay, perfect. So now, what you need to do, maybe you want to bring your logo here at the bottom of your job, okay? Maybe you need to, your logo. So it's really easy, you just need your picture, okay? And I wanna choose that one, okay? Perfect, okay. So I wanna use the CatCast logo. CatCast is uh, official, uh, gem vision dealer in thailand in southeast asia most of the countries in southeast of the asia and uh, they are amazing company they are amazing company and uh, they always help to me to make these kind of videos okay great and then we put it here okay and then if you want to add address you can do the same but uh, for address we really better to use text block or text uh, 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 command okay don't use the text object or something like that because they give you curve or solid but text or text object is much more easier for you okay you need to change the height to four as you prefer and I would like to add the address okay very good and then I want to put it here and then it's much more better to make it a little bit stretch no not that one okay a little bit smaller okay and then stretch a little bit bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and then I can add address here okay let me change the color to uh, change the color to um, uh, black and then you can add your own details to here okay so you want to add date so again you go to text object you can type date okay and you go here oh it's much more better to first you make the you put date and then you run this command again and then go to fx and then go to date so you can say which format do you prefer to use it so let's do uh, this one okay let's do 20 December 2021 and then you have this okay so I want to say something like that this is date okay and then you can add any details that you want let's make it a little bit smaller it's big let's make it a little bit smaller okay and then again you go for text you can add um, job number design number okay design you can add okay um, diamond details diamond or gem details gem details you can add anything that you want okay and then I want to put it here okay so you can add anything that you want if you prefer to change if you prefer to change these uh, <coughs> if you prefer to change the gray color you have to go to uh, options you need to go to appearance and you go to colors and here layout you can change it to white if you prefer to have it in white okay so they already we already change it to white okay so you can add your own uh, detail and layout in uh, the layout command great okay Great, uh, let's see, uh, is there any details that I didn't show you? Mm, no, everything was uh, okay. Okay, thank you so much guys uh, and have a great year.